Welcome to the Daddy Files. What's up, Feel Good Fathers? I have a Daddy File here with me. And what I want to talk about today is um, what are the signs and what are the common things to avoid to make sure that you're calm and you're feeling good as you're bringing your baby home. So there's a handful of things that you want to take a look at and pay attention to very quickly. Here they are. So what are the, the moments where you want to contact your, your baby's doctor? If they have a fever, so if their temperature is over 100 degrees, be very careful of this because they're um, something that we learned here uh, when we were coming out was uh, mommies can both heat up and cool, but daddies can heat up. And if you're a swaddling, uh, which you should be doing, which is wrapping your baby in a blanket, uh, their temperature may go up and down. So this is more, definitely you want to be paying attention to this critically, but the other piece is uh, take a look at the situation. So this is more of a long-term thing. Um, if they're crying excessively, your baby is going to cry. Most importantly, your baby is going to cry when she or he is hungry or when they're tired. Uh, this is really for the first couple of weeks. If they're difficult to feed, uh, so this would mean uh, you're having trouble giving them food on a regular cadence. Um, one of the things that we dealt with with child number one was uh, we were trying um, to breastfeed early on and the latching was this huge issue. And so for the first couple of days, baby number one didn't eat. Now it's okay because uh, there was intermittent uh, latching there, but also uh, babies come out with a lot of calories. So they have that time to figure it out. You have the time to figure this out. We knew uh, on the last day when she was super hungry that she hadn't been getting feeding because we tried a bottle, we tried formula and she just downed it. And so that really let us know that uh, the feeding was going to be one of our challenges. And so we kept going through things. We kept trying stuff. As a feel-good father, the best thing you can do in this moment is just really support uh, mom and the decisions that she wants to, to make, trying not to apply any pressure, trying to be of help, and sometimes just being the shoulder uh, for mom in this situation is just as critical as supporting the baby. Um if there's a excessive amount of vomiting now with child uh, with baby number two who's very recent here, so we're talking uh, between nine and ten weeks, um, only a handful of spit ups and only a handful of times from colic, which is uh, colic is basically digestive situations. So they're eating and the baby is having trouble digesting. So usually a probiotic is something that you want to address. Now, mind you, when we're talking about this stuff, what I'm realizing is that you. If you're seeing any of this stuff, this is when you would contact a doctor. So please don't take this as anything more than this is what I experienced in my child's. Uh, but for you, definitely, please go ahead and contact your doctor uh, to figure it out. This is not medical advice. Um, use your best judgment. Uh, but excessive vomiting throughout the day is a sign that something's wrong. Um, if they're making rhythmic jerky movements, I can tell you one thing that even up to this, at this stage with baby number two, cause it's super recent is that none of the jerking is rhythmic. Um, and so like, you know, one of the common ones is like open up the arms. That's really common. Um, other ones are like up and down like this kind of motion, but very free, frequent rhythmic jerkings would be something to pay attention to. Um, blue lips and tongue. That's a breathing oxygen issue. i bring that up. If they're breathing very fast, you're going to have, a lot of the common breathing things you would see an adult in a baby. So slow breathing, fast breathing, fast like this, size, everything like that. Oh, look, I just did the asthma thing. Um, <laughs> ASMR. Um, but just regular breathing. So if they're constantly breathing fast, fast, I would take a look at that. Um, if they're getting more jaundice, we'll have a separate video on this completely. Um, this is just in the colorization. It's perfectly normal for babies to be a little bit jaundiced coming out. Nothing, something to be alarmed, alarmed with. This is why mom and baby are in the hospital when they're just born. So that's okay. Take a look at that. Um, and also talk to your doctor and nurses on staff. Um, number one, if they're sleepy and they're having difficulty waking up for feeding. Now, one of the things that uh, we've experienced was that we didn't need to set an alarm for feeding. 
because baby woke up and baby let us know that she was hungry. So we got on her rhythm for the food. Now, if your baby is sleepy, uh, this is really early, like month one, you know, up to month, month one, maybe month two, if they're having trouble staying awake for feeding and really paying attention to this is super critical for you feel a good father in the, and you feel good community in the first couple of weeks, if they're not waking up or they're having trouble getting awake for feeding, just have the conversation with your doctor. Um, so this has been a, this has been a, a, a daddy file. Mainly it has been, what is the key takeaway here? What's the thing you can do? Pay attention. Look at your baby. Look at mommy. Right. Watch what they're doing. Watch what's happening. Have dialogue. Be super calm. You know, and be prepared and educate yourself. Hope you've enjoyed this, this, uh, this daddy file, and we'll see you next time.